Cameo 4 users or people with a pen holder and the Cameos. I'm going to show you how to use it with the Cameo 4 holder. It goes for the same way as the older editions with the one that's not marked for Cameo 4. It's going to work the same exact way. So if you want to know how it works, just follow along. I'm going to show you guys step by step on how it works. So the Cameo 4 holder, let me actually get this piece out so I can show you. Ah, and of course I get the other piece stuck in there. There. So you have the tool to hold a pen, a big pen, a marker, or whatever marker you want to hold. We're just going to start with this little guy right here. And remember guys, you can still use it with this old one. This is just a tutorial on how to use it with the Cameo 4, but it works the same way. So you have the Cameo 4 or the older one. You have this gray, which is for the large base, the white, come on, which is for the medium base when it focuses. Kind of see that M there. It doesn't want to focus right now. And then you have the small, which is for the small base. In case you didn't see it, here is the medium. There we go, have that focus, okay? And then you have the one. It's gonna set up for carriage one on the Cameo 4. It's gonna be your regular carriage in the other Cameos and in the portrait. And then you have this pin cap. If you can, try not to lose this pin cap. I've lost it so many times, and until you get practice with it, you're not gonna know how far and how deep to put your pin inside the holder, okay? So leave that pin on, pin holster on the bottom. So say we just wanna use this cheap little Dollar Tree marker. And I know, already know for sure that this is gonna be fitting in a small. So you start with the tip, slip it in. It doesn't matter how far deep this goes down cause that's what your pin cap is for, is to make sure that it doesn't go past the mark to where it leaves marks in your sketching. So insert it. Push it down until it can't go down anymore. And screw on this blue cap until it's hand tight. Don't torque it, don't make it too tight because you're gonna have to take the pin out and unscrew it. So now you have this little pin part and it's at that perfect length, but not quite. So we're just gonna push it down some more. Now I can feel that it's touching. And we're just gonna be just like that. So that is the perfect setup right there. So so I don't lose this. I'm gonna slip that in a little cubby. And now I'm gonna show you guys in the software how to set it up for sketching. So right now in this software is set up for the pen adapter for sketch pins from my other video that I just made which you guys can go see down in my profile up above or down below. But it's set up for auto pin, but now we gotta take out this other one. So we're taking out the other pin holder. This is the pin adapter, sketch pin, whatever you're using. And now we have our pin holder that we're gonna use. Let's slip it in carriage one. Lock her in. Put our mat back in. All right, so now we go back to our computer and the Cameo 4 has that auto detect, remember? So it still already set itself for auto sketch, pen detected, sketch, and I'm gonna leave it at default, okay? Because this is gonna be a very high bleeding marker. It's a Dollar Tree marker, it's nothing fancy, but it works for the demonstration of this video and I'll explain all the pens that you can use in it in this video and down in the descriptions down below. So we're going to go back to the Cameo again and we're going to push send. And what that's going to do, that's going to take the pen holder and it's going to do the same exact thing as it did with the sketch tool. So I'm going to be right back when that's all done. Alright, let's unload and see how awesome that turned out. And there we go. So if you want to use cheap markers or cheap Dollar Tree markers or ballpoint pens, for sure 
get that pin holder in the Cameo 4. And you can use whatever pin you choose to use as long as it fits. So now time to explain which pins it holds. Okay, so I have my right variety of pins that I'm going to try to fit and show you guys on um, which ones fit in the pin adapter as I'm trying to adjust my angle and get you guys a good view. There we go. That one's better. So, you got some Dollar Tree gel pins. That will be going in the small adapter. Okay. Can you use the big Sharpies in this? No, you cannot. You cannot use the big, thick Sharpies in these pin holders. Okay? They're not going to work. But you can use the small markers, like the small, thin markers. Those will work. And I'm going to show you which adapter that fits in. And if you feel like getting risky, I have a glue pin. You know, Foil Quill came out with the glue pin and they have adapters. This will actually work in the Silhouette pin adapter with no problem whatsoever. Then I have the fine point permanent markers. I have a big ballpoint pen. And another ballpoint pen here. I think this one's Paper Mate. Yep, this one's a Paper Mate one. So you're wondering, well, how do I know which adapter each one of these are going to fit in? I'm going to take the time and I'm going to show you each one. So this right now is just a Dollar Tree fine point marker. Focus. Focus. There we go. Fine point marker there. And that's going to fit, I think, in this medium one, which is going to be your white. So yeah. That fits in the medium one, and that slides pretty smooth. Make sure and have your pin cap on. Slip it in. Screw it down. And there you go. It has the perfect length of what it should be right there. So that's perfect on how it should enter the Cameo. So put your pin cap back on. Remember, try not to lose this bad boy. It comes in handy. Unscrew it out. Take out your pen and recap it. So if you wanted to use these Dollar Tree fine point markers, if you have a fine point that you want to use, go for it. So if you have this one that you want to use, this also works for the Crayolas. Let's see if it works with this medium. I don't think it will, but we'll try it. Yep, it works with that medium right there. So the medium slips just right. Slip her in. Screw the adapter back on. And pop her open. There we are. The perfect tip. Okay, let's do another one. Let's use this big ballpoint. Everyone likes ballpoint pens. We're going to use a small one. And even though the big ballpoint is textured, it still fits through. Screw it on. Doesn't have to be tight, just enough to where the pin doesn't move. And look at that. Perfect, right there. So I'll slip the pin cap back on, unscrew. And say so you don't want to invest in the foil quill, but you have a pack of glue pens that you got off of Amazon or eBay or Wish. They work, I promise. I've used them, they're amazing if you want to do glitters. Well, see, that's where I get for trying to take a shortcut. This one's not gonna fit in the small, it's gonna fit in the medium. So slips through just fine. There we go, just enough until the pin doesn't move. And there we are, works just like that. Now sometimes, depending 
on which pin that you use, you'll have to adjust this force in the software on how much you want the force to be. Now let's try this paper mate for funds. I already got the medium in there. Slip her in there. Just enough until the pin doesn't move. There we go. Perfect. And you're probably wondering, oh, I probably can get that Sharpie to fit. No, you cannot. I've tried it, unless I can magically get it to work for you guys, but it's not going to work. Because that base is way too big. It's not going to fit all the way down in there without breaking my adapter, and I will cry. Unless it's going to prove me wrong, which it did. So, see, it's not going to fit the Sharpie big fat ones or the medium sized ones. You have to have the fine point ones. So yours again, what pins can I use? All the pins that can fit except for the medium size and up Sharpies. I'm sure you can buy a third party tool and it will work, but I don't have that tool on hand. And this also will work guys with the, um, older gen pin holder for the portraits cameo two and three okay i was just showing you guys how it works with the cameo four works the same way so if you want to play around with it you can go to dollar tree and buy any pin that you see and then you can also if you want to get crafty it works with um oh excuse me paint pens i used it on a paint pen once and it worked great so, get your guys' self a pen holder. You're going to love it. Especially if you're getting tired of buying these little sketch pens right here for like $19.99 for a 24-pack. I got a six-pack of gel pens at Dollar Tree for a dollar. I got a 24-pack of markers for five bucks. So, guys, go get you a pen holder. Doesn't matter which machine you got, go get yourself a pen holder. I'm serious. You're going to fall in love with it. It's a game changer and it saves money even though you have to buy it. But you can use whatever pen that you want that fits through this large adapter, small adapter, or medium adapter. So there you guys go. That's how that works. If you have any questions, comments, just let me know down below. Make sure and like this video and subscribe to my channel. And we'll talk to you guys later.